Today, we will be revisiting an SSL hybrid trading strategies. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 56 different strategies with 13 of them being profitable. We've also tested a total of 753 indicators with 303 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. We've also retested in the advanced testing 11 of the winning indicators. Six of them have been able to maintain the winning status. The best one is 64% win rate. Now keep in mind that we test most of these strategies and indicators on the Forex and crypto market, but they can be applied to just about any market universally. Okay, so today we are revisiting an SSL hybrid trading strategy. And so in the last uh, strategy testing video that we did, uh, we had the uh, strategy here. Oops, let's get that back down there. Uh, we had the strategy here set up where we had the super trend, we had the SSL hybrid, and we had the QQE mod indicator. And in that video, we were testing it on uh, gold instead of a crypto or a Forex. And we were testing it on a one hour time frame. Now to run back through um, what we have going on here, we have the standard super trend. Um, and so if you just type in uh, super trend here into the uh, indicator bar there, the indicator search, it's this one here by uh, Kaban, uh, so on. That is the super trend that we're using. And it is set to just a standard uh, default settings. Uh, chart is the time frame. And then we have the SSL hybrid um, on this particular case. Um, I forget if we changed this one. I believe we changed the baseline link to 60, if I'm not mistaken. And we went in and we turned off everything but the baseline and the baseline upper and lower channel. So that way we have this line here, uh, this SSL hybrid line baseline. And then lastly, we had the QQE mod here on the bottom of the screen. I don't think we changed anything on that. Here are all the settings if you wanna look through those. Pretty sure these were just the default settings as well. And so that gave us this setup right here. And what we did was uh, we would look for the super trend to give us a sell or a buy signal. And if the QQE uh, or the SSL hybrid baseline was in the purple position and the QQE mod was also in the purple position, we would then go short. And what we did was we set the stop um, right above the, so here, an example of what we do set the stop right above the baseline in a short position and then we would target a uh, 1 to 1.5 risk reward and then we would uh, let it play out and see what happens and so uh, the uh, in the reverse for a long situation obviously we would look for a buy signal the SSL uh, baseline would be in the blue position QQE mod in the blue and then we would set the stop right below the baseline and again we would target a, a 1 to 1.5 risk reward and in that particular case it did not work out too well for us um, so we have switched over to a Bitcoin chart here we've dropped it down to a 15 minute time frame and I've added one more super trend onto this with the um, time frame of a 45 minute time frame. And that gives us this setup right here. And so what we're looking for uh, first and foremost is the overall super trend direction, the uh, higher time frame super trend direction. Uh, we are looking for that to be either in a sell position or a buy position. Once that has established uh, whether or not it's in a sell or a buy position, we then look for the lower uh, super trend to then uh, confirm a sell position. For example, 
right here we are in the longer time frame it is in a sell position we then look for the lower time frame to then confirm so a lot of the times you'll get the lower time frame in a sell position first then the higher time frame will then come into that same uh, sell position those are not valid so we're looking for the uh, upper the higher time frame to be in that position first and then a uh, confirming lower time frame super trend and then in that case it's basically uh, very similar to the other setup we look for the baseline to be in the purple position qqe mod to be in the purple position as well and i did give this a one candle um, kind of leverage and so uh, for example if the qqe mod on the exact candle right here was not in the correct position if within one candle it was able to give us that purple bar then that is also a valid signal now this is where i change things up slightly so instead of doing our stop at the uh, baseline what i did was two bars two bars back that is our stop and so for example uh, if i rid of that and zoom in here this is this one right here i'm sorry this right here is our confirmation candle and so this candle and this candle the uh, top of this candle would be our stop and so if i put our uh, position uh, our position tool there and we put the stop right there and then i targeted a one to one point for risk reward just like that and you can see in this particular case we got to our take profit uh, rather easily there and so that's the modification that i made there and on uh, this side over here let's see here's another example of a, another setup this one is a buy setup um, actually, no, that one wasn't a good confirmation there. It looks like we uh, missed the QQE mod. Let's see if we can find a buy setup real quick here. Trying to take too long on this video. So, all right, there we go. And so that was a valid buy signal right here. Our uh, higher time frame, um, the higher time frame super trend was in the buy position. We then get a confirmation right there on that one. We then take a long position there. Two candles back, we set at the low, which just happens to be the uh, baseline in this particular case. And then we target a 1 to 1.4 risk reward. And you can see that we jump up really nicely there and we hit our take profit. Everything lined up. Our buy signal there on the higher time frame, buy signal on the lower super trend. The uh, baseline was in the blue position and the QQE mod also in the blue position. Got us all to our take profit rather nicely. So. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and fast forward through the 50 trade tests that I did on this one uh, to uh, then pick it up on the other side and look at what this was able to achieve over uh, that longer uh, trade test there.
All right, before we take a look at what this was able to achieve over the 50 trade test, let me give a quick shout out to our Discord server. This is our Discord server here. We have a lot of great channels for everybody uh, to be able to uh, chat and converse in, bounce ideas off of each other and so on. This is our free channels here, but this one here is our Patreon only channel. This is for our patrons to be able to hang out, take advantage of some ad advanced information that we are posting in here. Uh, this, uh, this Sasquatch here is one of the members. He is an amazing Forex prop trader. He's posting uh, pretty much every single day the Forex market is open, putting up these charts where he's marked out areas of support and resistance um, and uh, channels and uh, just general analysis of the Forex market, highs and lows, all kinds of great information here. Uh, there is a lot of information that you can uh, take away from these charts. If you're trying to excel your trading knowledge, take the next steps in the right direction, I highly recommend uh, that you join us here and take a look at some of the stuff that Sasquatch posts. Our admin Jay is also posting regular stuff. Chester here is also following along, posting some really great information as well. And so again, if you're trying to take the next step in the right direction, highly recommend that you join us here. All right, so what was this able to achieve over the 50 trades? So let's take a look here. Okay, over the 50 trades, we were able to get uh, 31 winners, 19 losers. Uh, if you were risking, uh, let's say $100 per trade, uh, that means that your gain would be $140 per trade. Uh, your total wins would be $4,340. Your total losing uh, would be $1,900. After that gives you a total of 2,440 total gain over these 50 trades. And so a really significant difference uh, this made uh, from the last one. This is a really great way to use the SSL hybrid, the QQE mod, along with a few super trends uh, to uh, get in positions. And uh, yeah, just a really great trading strategy all around. And so I really wanted to find something that would work with these indicators because I know that there are a lot of people who really like these indicators and want them to work. And uh, I hate being the bearer of bad news every time I pull these things up, it seemed like they were just losing consistently. And so uh, I kind of made it a mission to see if I could find a way to modify these uh, that would make them useful and profitable for everybody to use. And so check out this strategy really great stuff uh that's it from here we'll put this one on the yes list this time and we'll move on to the next video from here